Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the CO2 Rundown. I'm your host, Chad Owens. Happy Hump Day Wednesday. Ooh, it's been a while, but we at the top of the hill, peak of the week. We looking down, and I know we're excited for it to roll through this week to get to that end, but I know we've built that momentum. And the University of Hawaii football team has built momentum all season. You know, spring, spring training, fall camp, they're ready to roll. So I can't wait to talk about that here in this segment. And look, like we always do, let's dive on in to the CO2 Rundown. Ooh, man, look, what, what is it? it it's, it's Wednesday. It's the day before the day before the day before. Look, that's what we used to do. We used to reverse engineer that thing when we're counting down the days till game day. This Saturday, our University of Hawaii Rainbow Warrior football team is taking on UCLA at the Rose Bowl. It's the season opener, and we are all extremely excited to see what happens, but no one's more excited than the guys in that locker room, the coaches, the players. I know you guys have been grinding, chomping at the bit, waiting for an opportunity to go and hit somebody else. They're going to compete against somebody else. And there's no better way to go and start against what Coach Todd Graham says and thinks is the best team on their schedule this year. Hey, you want that. And he said it forces you to get better right now. And there's some guys on this team that got a little extra chip on their shoulder because hey, they grew up in California watching these teams. And UCLA, obviously, passed up on these guys. And so they got that extra motivation to go out there and prove uh, their skills, prove their talents. And one of those guys, a starting safety, Corey Bethley, who is also a captain this year, and he, he just wants to go out there and prove it, right? He wants to show them what they missed out on. And along with uh, co-captains Darius Musau and Chevron Codero, they are ready to go. I'm excited. I'm fired up. These boys are going to be flying, and we can't wait. We got your back. Good luck, boys. And go Bows. Dave Reardon's got a pretty interesting column in today's Honolulu Star Advertiser. Uh, just playing off of what I just talked about, about you know, the University of Hawaii football team and their start this year, but what Dave's talking about, he's highlighting what he's calling super seniors. And uh, that's just going to be an added bonus. For, for our team. Why? Well, it's because we've got, I believe, 16 super seniors on our team. Uh, these are guys that got an extra year of eligibility due to that ruling uh, because of the pandemic last year. So, well, ongoing pandemic for that. But because of that ruling, guys are granted an extra year of eligibility, hence another year. For some guys, it's a fifth year. For some guys, it's a sixth year. And uh, these guys are being uh, called super seniors. Why is that? And Calvin Turner Jr. is one of those super seniors. And he is going to be extremely super on the field this week. I can't wait. But the benefit of having super seniors, this guys that's been here, the experience on the field, off the field, and everything in between. They can help guide the young guys. Um, you have a group, a core group of young men, leaders that can just, just they're, they're the glue. That's, that's what's going to help continue to mold and shape up this team. And that's a huge benefit because, look, let's just be honest. Every year when you lose that senior class, you lose a bunch of leaders. You lose a bunch of guys that meant a lot to these underclassmen. And so to get those guys back, means a lot. So make sure you guys check out Dave Reardon's column in today's Honolulu Star Advertiser to dive a little deeper into that one. Man, uh, I cannot wait uh, for these women to have this opportunity. It's been a very long time since they were able to, to go in there and play the game. I'm talking about Rainbow Wahine Volleyball. The Hawaiian Airlines Rainbow Wahine Classic is happening this weekend. And our girls are going to be back in action. And there's two 
women uh, that are being highlighted in the story today in, the, in our uh, Honolulu Star Advertiser. And that's Milana Bird and Kate Lang, who are both from Texas, one from Dallas, one from Houston, both from different, you know, clubs. Uh, obviously, hearing about each other through mutual friends. Both are setters, and both are very capable of getting the job done and leading that, that Wahine attack on offense. And so, you know, I know Coach Robin Amo has them competing. She had made that clear that the best will play. And so, you know, in sports, it's about iron sharpening iron. And for those two and the rest of the Rainbow Wahine volleyball team, I just think that they're excited to just be back out there on the court. They said that when they got to Stan Sheriff and was practicing, they just were screaming and just excited to be back in the arena. And although it's unfortunate that we are not going to have any fans to cheer them on this weekend, as a fan myself, I'm just happy for, the, for these young ladies to be able to be back out there and actually having a season. So go out there, compete this weekend, and win or lose, man, go out there and enjoy the moment. Man, I, I, and I had to make this announcement. October 27th, mark that date down because Ray Cooper III is headed to his third Walter Waite PFL World Championship Finals appearance. He's taking on Magomed, Magomed Karamov, uh, a million bucks up for grabs again. And... Man, Ray Cooper is primed to get this done yet again. If you've been following his tear uh, and, and the, this ascend that he's on in this year's tournament, he's got the momentum. He's got the hot hand. And I just, what I love about Ray is that he's so humble, such a down-to-earth guy. But man, when, when, when the lights turn on and it's time to step into that cage and it's time to go, that thing flicks on <laughs> and it just feels like he gives me that. And I've said this before. He gives me that Mike Tyson vibe. I think he gives that off to these other guys too. So they're sort of beat already mentally when he steps into that cage. So I'm excited to check him out. I know he's in prep mode right now. And I'm definitely going to be catching up with him before the fight. So stay tuned for that. Brother Ray, looking forward to chatting, bro. Congratulations again. Let's get it. And that is it for today's show. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Really, no, really. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I, I, I enjoy doing this. I hope you guys enjoy watching and, and enjoy the energy that I bring each and every segment. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again. On Aloha Friday.